Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, today was our 11th consecutive day with temperatures below 90, and six of those 11 days have featured fairly low humidity, including today. But that will change over the weekend. The humidity rises, temperatures stay about the same, still below 90, but we will be dodging some scattered showers and thunder showers. But the timing of the rain, pretty favorable for a lot of the outdoor activities. But here are the numbers from this afternoon, mid to upper 80s, uh, 86 to 88 here in the metro. And again, I think temperatures tomorrow will be very very similar, but the added humidity will make it feel a little bit more like uh, summer, along with a few showers and thunder showers. Speaking of rain, live first warning Doppler radar showing a couple of showers that are trying to make a run at our far southern counties. We had one that uh, came into southwestern Muhlenberg County within the past hour. That has faded away. Another one coming up here in uh, western Crittenden County could make a run at uh, maybe western uh, Union County. But you can see the shower that uh, kind of moved up through Greenville as expected kind of fell apart as across the Western Kentucky Park one. As we look over here to our west, this uh, somewhat heavier shower near Marion, Kentucky, heading up towards Cave and Rock, could get into far western uh, Union County, same area that saw that isolated shower late this afternoon that moved right over Old Shawneetown. You can see the tenth of an inch of rain that fell there and also in southwestern Muhlenberg County, but that's about it. And nowhere in the tri-state has there been an inch of rain in the last seven days, so keep on watering. That's probably not going to be changing all that much here over the next uh, one to two weeks. Here's how the day played out on our Superior Ag Tower camera. Those uh, puffy cumulus clouds uh, bubbling up in the heat of the afternoon and somewhat dissipating after sunset, but we still have some more moisture coming up from the south. So it's a partly cloudy sky right now, temperature 72, but look at the dew point up to 66. So it's starting to get into that humid range with calm conditions and temperatures generally 70 to 75. Fairfield a little cooler at 68. We'll settle into the upper 60s overnight, not quite as cool as the past few. So got a couple of showers trying to get into our southern fringe, kind of on the edge of this disturbance moving through the Tennessee Valley. But this will be the focus for us over the weekend, this weak cold front that's now in the upper Midwest that will gradually come in from the Northwest as we head through the day on Sunday. And later tomorrow night, an isolated damaging wind gust can't be rolled out in the northwestern corner of the Tri-State. This will be mainly north of I-64 in Illinois and north of the White River in Indiana. Those storms will be weakening, though, and that'll be later tomorrow night as we head through Saturday itself, a mix of sun and clouds. A few showers and thunder showers here and there, but by 4 p.m. there's still not much going on. Temperatures mid to upper 80s and a little more humid. I think tomorrow evening will be okay. For most of us, maybe up in the northwestern counties, you could begin to see some showers and thunderstorms there. But the latest run of Future Tracker really dries this line up. This is 8 p.m. tomorrow night. Watch what happens by 2 a.m. Not much left of that line as it pushes into the Evansville area, and then it's pretty much gone by daybreak on Sunday. And by the time things get Get warm enough Sunday afternoon to refire the thunder showers. The better chances will be southeast of Evansville. You can kind of see that line developing right over the Evansville area at noon. Then everything kind of pushes away to the southeast as we head through the afternoon hours with temperatures in the low to mid 80s. It's still humid, but that humidity will begin to fall again as we start next week. So overnight tonight, we're looking at partly cloudy skies, upper 60s, and then a mix of sun and clouds tomorrow. Humidity is back, but temperatures about the same as today, mid to upper. 80s with a few showers and thunder showers. Now those scattered showers and thunder showers will slowly increase tomorrow night, especially in our northwestern counties. I think the highest chances for the Evansville Metro will be Sunday morning, maybe through the midday hours as everything kind of redevelops and then pushes off to the southeast Sunday afternoon. It's still humid, a little cooler at 84, but the humidity and rain chances fall away for next week, which looks about as nice as this past week. Daily high temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. Lows in the mid to upper 60s, and again, no humidity and very little chance of, of any rain. Not bad for the final full week of August. Okay, we're going to enjoy this. Yeah. Thank you, Wayne. Okay.